What's up guys, Ryan Knows Tech from TechCourse.com and I'm going to make this video about typing on the iPad. Now you've got two options. You can buy the dock that has the keyboard built in or you can buy the dock separately and the keyboard separately. Why would you want to do that? It's going to cost you an extra $10. Well, obviously if you already have one of them, you don't need to buy it again. So I already had this keyboard, just Bluetooth, and I just picked up this dock, which I have a review of my channel by this time. Stock from the Apple Store for 30 bucks. So stick that in there, and then you can connect any Bluetooth wireless keyboard to your iPad. Obviously, make sure your keyboard is turned on. I'm going to go into Settings. In Settings, you've got General, comes up automatically. Bluetooth, make sure you turn Bluetooth on. Take a second to find it. There it is, Apple Wireless Keyboard. Touch it. Go through a pairing. The first time you connect it, you have to type in some things to verify that it is actually your keyboard. Then it's all good. So that's closed right now. Or it's connected, sorry. Now, uh, it's going to work pretty much like the other one, except the function keys. Uh, the other one is in the one that Apple designed that has the keyboard built in. Um, you don't have a spot for batteries on that one, like you do on this. But that's all right. So escape. Escape doesn't do anything. Your brightness keys actually work. So that's kind of cool. You can adjust the brightness. You can get the on-screen uh, notification there, just like a Mac. The uh, F3 key, which puts all your windows out on your desktop, doesn't do anything. Neither does the dashboard key. F5 and F6 are blank. Now, your media keys work. So they work. You can change between songs. Then your volume keys work as well. You get that on-screen notification, but you don't get that uh, sound over here like you get on a Mac. You don't get that. The escape, um, or the... Eject key doesn't do anything as well. But typing on this is actually really quick. I kind of expected a little bit of a delay being Bluetooth and uh, not the fastest processor in the world, you know, compared to a computer. But if we create a new document here in Pages, do a blank template, typing is very quick. And Bluetooth works up to 30 feet. So I can go 30 feet away. Why would I want to do that? And type, which is nice. So, there you go. Typing on the iPad with this keyboard is obviously just like typing on a MacBook, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, iMac, Mac Pro, whatever Mac you've got. Uh, as long as you've got this wireless keyboard, this or the wired one or the old Bluetooth one or whatever you've got. Um, just like typing on the iPad. It's, it's kind of weird having to uh, touch the screen to do different things like uh, fonts and stuff. Uh, I, I don't think that works. No, it doesn't. But uh, making the font bigger with the keyboard doesn't work. But it's, it's really nice to be able to type like that and not have to uh, tilt it sideways and then be over. But it, it's very nice typing on here, but uh, obviously it's better when you've got physical keys that you can feel and always make sure you're on the home row. So thanks for watching this one. In conclusion, the uh, wireless keyboard works great with an iPad. I've had no problems with it. Connectivity is excellent. Uh, doesn't use much uh, power having the Bluetooth on. So definitely recommend it. I would uh, rather actually spend the $10 and be able to be wireless if I want to have it here, you know, move it around instead of having that constant uh, angle be the same if you bought the other keyboard. Either way, great device, great setup. Thanks for watching this one. Please subscribe. Our website is techcores.com and my Twitter, if you're interested, is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Might also add that every Tuesday night on stickem.com slash techcores, we host our live web shows there. So we'll either see you there or see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.